What's going on, Jerome's? So all of the talk is around Justin freaking Jefferson and his extension from the Vikings. And eventually something will indeed get done. But the Vikings have another young homegrown superstar who is eligible for a long-term contract extension in Christian friggin' Darisaw, one of the best young left tackles in the game. And Darisaw at OTAs looking like a tank, man. Like, So initially when I saw the, the video, I was like, why is Darisaw wearing shoulder pads when they're in, in shells? But then realizing, oh, wait, that's just his shoulders and his traps. No, no, no big deal. But uh, I, I love Darius uh, going back to Virginia Tech and wanted the Vikings to draft him. Glad that the Vikings landed him in, in 2021. Uh, and now, ooh, so you draft good players. They become great players. And then you pay those great players. Mm, circle of life. Uh, but ESPN... NFL Nation, uh, in a piece called NFL Contracts, could Prescott Chase uh, be next for big paydays? No. No. Uh, but Kevin Seifert, who's not Carl Gershman, uh, elaborated on what's going on with Christian Derrissaw. Latest on negotiations, Derrissaw is every bit the building block that Jefferson is, despite the imbalance in public discussion between the two. Because, uh, I don't know, not many people have Derrissaw on their fantasy teams. Oh, he didn't catch a pass again. Uh, it's a PPR, though. Uh, that's the case, despite the fact that Derrissaw has yet to earn an initial spot in the Pro Bowl. He was fourth alternate in 2023, let alone an All-Pro designation. Where Derrissaw stands in the NFL hierarchy of left tackles is debatable, but what's indisputable uh, is that the Vikings view him as a player who could hold down his position onto into the next decade. Um, where, where the Vikings won a dozen drone parties. Uh, there have been initial talks between the sides. Woo! as would be expected, but there is no indication that a deal, uh, which will be two years early, uh, which would be two years early, something that happens in uh, r relatively rare cases, is imminent. So uh, that hasn't really been Kwesi's MO uh, in terms of extending his guys, even though basically the only extensions that he's done is Hawkinson, uh, and then also Bradbury, uh, he was a free agent on when they signed his deal. But with Derisaw, so... Some players from the 2021 draft class have already gotten paid, notably Devontae Smith. And the Eagles and Howie Roseman do like taking guys, uh, taking care of guys a year early. Now, the trade-off in that is you run the risk of decline or injury, uh, but, but also you're able to get them at a slightly lower price. Uh, but Derisaw, I, I think Derisaw has all the tools to be one of the best young left tackles in the game. I, I, I really think that. And the reason why he hasn't made a Pro Bowl or All-Pro yet is because of injuries, right? So knocking on all the wood, he can hopefully he can stay healthy, but he's had issues with his core. He's had a couple of concussions, and throughout his first three seasons, he has not played a, a full season. So Darisaw is only 24, turns 25 in June, first rounder, number 23 overall. And that was the last draft of Prete Ricke Spielman. And I respect the way that he maneuvered because the Vikings were originally at 14, moved down. Uh, the Raiders took Leatherwood. It was great. And the Vikings still landed Darisaw at 23 because – Darisaw was dealing with a core muscle injury, so he wasn't able to test during draft season. Uh, I, I think if Darisaw was able to, I think that he would have been drafted up there with, with Penny Sewell, Rashawn Slater, uh, and, and the like. Uh, 2022, 90.4 PFF grade, a second in the NFL behind Trent Williams, who is often compared to, uh, well, beyond just wearing number 71, but also uh, the the combination of, of size, power, speed, everything, man. Uh, 2023, uh, 85.3 PFF pass blocking grade, which is third in the NFL. Uh, fifth year option for 2025 was picked up 16.037 million. Uh, so he is under uh, team control for at least two years. Also, the Vikings do have the franchise tag for 2026 if it comes to that. Uh, but... The concern is durability. So he's missed 10 of a possible 52 games uh, throughout his career, so r roughly 20%. And I, I do believe that he's up there with the Tristan Wirfs of the world, with the Andrew Thomases of the world. Wirfs, remember, moved from right tackle, left tackle uh, last year. So I, I think he is in that stratosphere, and I think he does deserve to be paid. But even though negotiations ha have you know, started, I mean, I'm sure it's just a feeling out period, get, getting parameters and all that stuff between the agent and, and Kwesi. Uh, but what it ultimately comes down to is I think the Vikings want to see him be healthy, be dominant for a full season this year, and then... I think they'll take care of him. And the Vikings uh, you know, do have 100 plus million in cap space in 2025. A lot of that is earmarked for Jefferson as well as Darisaw if it comes to that too. So I'm, I, I'm excited that the Vikings landed two just absolute nail drivers. Uh, that, that, was, that was a goodbye present from pretty Ricky Spielman hitting on Jefferson in the first and then in 2020 and then Darisaw in the first in 2021. Thank you, Rick. Now leave. Hmm. Uh, but 
you know, t- t- taking care of your guys and paying them uh, market rate uh, in their primes. It's, it's great, man. It's great. It's good planning by Kwesi and uh, and also Rob Tuglight Brzezinski. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, reportedly, allegedly, uh, talks uh, with Christian Derisaw have begun. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But next time, Skull Production Value.